And now, without further ado, I have the distinguished honor and privilege of presenting to you the Queen of Color, the Mother of Artists, globally acclaimed, award-winning Master Acrylic Artist, and the star of our show, Ginger Cook, as she once again mesmerizes her audience with the daring do's and don'ts of painting with acrylics. There we go. Okay. Are we I'm so tight in my environment with my chair right now that I've got to rebuild it. But you're live. I'm live. All right. You're live with 124 viewers. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic! I'm happy New Year, everybody. This happy is Happy New Cook. Year to you. Yeah, happy you know, I'm in my New Year fancy duds just to celebrate. We're gonna be kind of just hope I don't get paint all over them, right? Because. You know me, I never like to wear aprons, so we'll just see how it goes. No, okay? no, no, I think we'll put an apron on you. Well, we'll see. Anyway, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're going to have a great time today. I want to just, uh, <coughs> I'm getting over cold, and then I t stupidly went and got a flu shot, and then just, uh, talk about a setback, oh my gosh. But anyway, we're hacking along here, and we're going to have a good time. We're going to paint the Aurora Borealis. What is you may that? not know that, but um, I read last year that um, this winter was the last time actually to be able to see this well for about 10 years. And it was on my bucket list. I don't see John and I being able to do it. But, um, we can't you know, find a cruise ship to get you us know, there. Unless, you know, I don't know how that would work. But if you're in one of those northern countries that gets to see it, like Canada oh, or way up in Alaska or maybe in uh, Sweden or Norway or someplace, or, you know, there's Greenland, you know, like you guys to enjoy that while it's going to be really prominent. prominent. <coughs> the rest of us, We'll suffer. We're just going to paint it. What do you think? I think we're going to paint idea. it. And today, I want to just mention one thing. Normally, we just use the colors I always use on all the videos, but I am going to be using Thalo Green. You could also use Southern Ocean Blue, but we're going to use Thalo Green off because the Aurora, Aurora Borealis is very bright. I went and found a bunch of reference photos. I'm going to kind of show you how I put this painting together because I think it's sort of interesting and you know, how to come up with it. Obviously, I've never seen it, so I had to find some sort of reference photo for it. So I'm going to show you how I did that. We're going to start with an 8x10 canvas that has been painted very, very dark blue. Okay? Though it doesn't look that blue in the winter. It's, trust me, it's dark blue. <laughs> it's and it doesn't look like an ultramarine blue color. So then that's our, that's our canvas color. And we're going to take some chalk and someone's going to say, oh, aren't we going to trace this on? No, we're not going to trace this on. We're, these are houses. These are like Monopoly houses. Only there's three of them. It's a little cabin. It's, it's all cute. It's so small, you don't need a lot of detail. If we did this bigger, for instance, and John and I talked about this, doing this for our members of the Art Academy, bigger, and then we'd put in more detail, like you'd see all the logs and stuff. We'd sort of gingerize it. But this is small. I think you're going to do this easily. I think you're going to surprise yourself how pretty this is, and maybe you'll be inspired to go see this and tell us all about it. What do you think? And, and one, one place you can do that is if you're a member of our Facebook club, Ginger Cook Live, Acrylic Painting Club. No, it's Ginger Cook Acrylic Painting Club on Facebook. <laughs> and, um, you know, we just have artists there that <coughs> share the passion. How's that? We're sharing the passion. Sharing All right. the passion. Okay, so that being said, shall we uh, come on down? I um, want to thank our moderators who are taking their holiday, you know, holiday. You know, this is, a, you know, Sunday to come out. And I want, oh, welcome our European viewers. Uh, Mona's on, and she, you know, she listens well, now to how do you know she's on? I didn't tell you she's on, but oh. she is on. She said she was going to be on. So well, she, she is said, on. You know, I know Mona's on, <laughs> and we probably uh, we've got some of our friends in um, the Netherlands and in Norway and England in the and, UK and the UK. Didn't I say that England? Does that count? England, England. Oh, that, I guess that is UK. Isn't it? Well, you know they. <laughs> you know those guys. They, they've got a big territory. United Kingdom, you know, who knows where that all... Be. Anyway, we've got them. And uh, Ireland and Scotland and all that stuff, right? So, so this uh, is now, cool. Wait, we, we need to really announce these are going to be our new times. Yeah, new times, Sundays at 2.30, because we wanted to... I'll, I'll, you know, make that, a, you know, an app, you know, fun afternoon. It's 2.30 Central Time in Texas. Mm, yeah. Okay, so that being said, I'm going to yeah. have John... Go ahead and, and, and focus the camera down on our... Yeah, you're down there. i got to focus down now. the Here's, here's our picture. And I think it's really pretty. And if you look at this, which obviously I can tell you're doing, right? <laughs> 
you can see that um, if this is an 8 by 10, and let's see, let me put my glasses on. You know, I hate rulers. You can never read the little tiny numbers. All right, so this is 8 here, and 4 is about here. So just um, right about, um, uh, what does this number say here? 5. Right about 5 down from the top is it's kind of where we're putting our horizon line, okay? So if we took our pencil and came down here about 5, five inches, I've got paint all over this dumb ruler, and just did kind of a line like that, right? There you go, see? All right, so that's going to be kind of, this is where our houses are going to be. If I were to show you this like that, see? This is where our lake is, and our houses are going to be above that line. So what I'd like to do is, um, so you can see that, you know, this is where, let me just show you like, just like this, okay? So that's the line for our lake, and then we're going to come up a little bit, something like that, just some sort of little wavy snow stuff, okay? And uh, I'm going to come over about um, two inches from the side, about two and a quarter inches, I think, from the side, and come up with a little, about an inch, two little straight lines. And let's see, this first house is about an um, inch and a half wide. Okay, I'm just going to come straight up like that, straight across, okay? Now, what color blue is that? Is that the ultramarine? That's just like ultramarine blue, and you can put a little purple with it. We're going to make it darker still, but that just gets you something going, right? Like that. Now, let's make our A like this, straight line like this. This has got a, these two lines here and here are parallel, and then here's our A coming down like that. So here's our little house, and we might make it a little bigger, all right, now that we've got it. And it is, the whole height of it is... Um, See, the whole height of the whole thing is about one and three quarters inches. And so let's see, I may, may want to make my, my roof a little bit taller. Well, I think I pretty much, yeah, I'll just come up a little bit higher on the roof like that. There you go. Just kind of make that a bigger roof. There we go. That's perfect. And now we want to come over here next to that, another little straight up and down line, not so, not so tall as this one. And we're going to make another A, okay? We've talked about how to do these little houses. Then straight back here, this line's got to be straight, parallel to top and bottom of the canvas, okay? Another little line down here. This, this line right here and this line got to be twins, all right? Down it goes, okay? And then we're going to say that we're going to come above here with another A, like that, and another sort of parallel roof line. And here's another little house. I mean, you know, that's pretty simple, don't you think? Very simple. All right, and, and then um, and then you, like I say, you can fudge whatever you don't like, just fudge with snow. Does that make sense? <laughs> Snow's great. You can cover up anything with snow. All right, so, all right, so that's what we're saying that. So then this, all of this stuff is going to be sky. And what I want to say when we do this sky, we want to have it swirling in this direction. Okay, we want to swirl it in this direction. That's real important. And if no, you'll wait, look, wait, wait, wait. Why is that so important? Well, okay, because I looked at some pictures. Here's my sketch I did on the computer. I just did this in Painter Essentials 5. I did this a very loose sketch on the computer. Here's the sketch of my picture. So basically, I found this old, these old barns and turned them into houses. And then I came up here and kind of just did all that on the computer. And I found some, you see how here's some aurora borealis stuff and see how the um the trees are kind of silhouetted against that and then i found this one um look how it's coming up like this so i mean i, I didn't show you every picture i ever found of the aurora borealis and then i liked how that there was this green in the sky with this peach and the um and then the snow kind of turned green so those were my reference photos to do this um, you know, I mean, just to get my colors. And I want you to notice here, you see how dark the sky is where, um, next to it. So the sky is almost like, not, almost, not quite black, but it's very, very dark. Let's see if I can show you in this one too. Same thing here, see how dark the sky is. So these are nighttime pictures. And what I liked was that the, that the, that the, the snow on the trees was pink and blue. That was interesting too. So, um, and you can see how these, um, Looks like they've got a hot tub there. Isn't that pretty? Anyway, you can see, um, oh, isn't that a cool place? Anyway, 
Well, anyway, that's, that's, that's how we came up with this. So someone says, how did you come up with that? And I'm doing the swirling because I, I like the fact that it's swirling. And then it kind of, we have a tree coming up this way and it's going to kind of bring your eye back, all right? Hey, so we'd like to thank, to just uh, going up. We'd like to thank Denise for the don donation. She says, Happy New Year, Ginger. Thank you so much for everything you teach and share with us. Oh, gosh. Thank you so much, too. And that gosh. would be from a Canadian Northern friend. Oh, Canadian Northern friend. Well, you you know, lucky you've probably seen this. You know, in my whole life, I don't remember ever seeing this. If I, you know, in my whole life, I don't ever remember seeing this. I want to bring this one back a little bit. Well, no, I think I like this right here. All right, we're going to leave it alone. All right, so now I, I, something else we're doing new today is that somehow we ordered one of these plastic pallets. Now, somehow I'll, we ordered <laughs> I don't know. John doesn't remember ordering it. I don't remember ordering it. It showed up in the box. We thought we'd tie it. We got this at Jerry's. And they yeah. say that we can clear it off when we're done. We're supposed to be able to clear this off. So I'm not even going to tell you what. I don't know. If it's any good, already I'm having trouble getting the stickers off when I tried to move them. But we'll, oh, good. <laughs> good. So we'll see, right? And incidentally, if anybody likes these stickers, um, we've got, these are, um, you can buy the Avery labels, and we have a free template that we're happy to send you. And um, this is what they l look like. And of it's course, you can make your own. It's also in the Facebook group. It's in the Facebook It's on our group. Facebook group has the link to these on our Facebook. It has yeah, the link the to these. File. And, they're, and I think they're kind of nice. It helps you kind of remember where everything is. Um, you could you could have a couple of blank ones and write in other colors too. You know, mm, just a thought. We well, you know here, here's an interesting question. I think we want to address. This is from Deb Terry. Hi, Deb. Ginger, can you still see the texture of the canvas on your paintings? I can on mine, and friends and family say that's wrong. Well, it's a painting, not a watercolor. You're supposed to see texture. Um, and you can, it's, well, there, she's seeing the actual canvas texture. Well, you may not be using enough paint. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you a good example. I was in Hawaii some years ago at a very fancy, swanky hotel. And I don't think we were staying there. I think we had lunch there. And in the lobby, there was a real Monet. And just no kidding. And what wow. was interesting to me is he, he had painted this on um, like that real rough kind of brown canvas. You, you know what I mean? Almost kind of like old, kind of almost looks like oatmeal kind of, you know, kind of canvas. And you had, he had really thick paint and then places where you could just see the canvas. It was really kind of a combination. So I don't think anybody's um, correct in telling you you're wrong. It's your, it may be the feature. It may be your feature. You know what I mean? It's your feature thing. But it's, I, I think it's maybe better to use a little more paint. Um, some canvases, that's why we sand the canvases too, mm, the thought. All right, let's put this paint out while we're talking. Um, uh, all right, I'm going to go ahead and put out some titanium white on this. Boy, we're so brave. I like to put out rows of white. We know we're going to use a lot of white here, okay? And then the phthalo green, if you have Southern Ocean Blue, that'll work too. Um, I've had, you, I've had a tube of phthalo green, I don't know, for 20 years. I mean, it's how, uh, how few times I do use it. But these, you can see from looking at the photographs I found that this stuff's bright. So, you know, in this case, we're bright. You know, we're, we're, we're going bright here. And uh, we're going to do some phthalo blue. And I'll put that out here, and we'll do, do that. And um, let's see, what else have we got? Um, Cad red medium. You know, it's just all the you know, it's all the same friends that we put out all the time, uh, for sure. This is interesting on this weird little brown palette. It's um, it gives me a little more mixing room. I don't know if I'll like it, but we'll let you know. I would think it would scratch. See, I'm just saving you the trouble of having to buy something. You're gonna look at that and go, oh, that's good. Maybe I should buy that. I have no idea if you should get it or not. You know, nobody's paying me to tell you anything about it. I'm just going to give you my honest opinion about what I think. And then, I guess, you know, it would depend. Maybe it's wonderful for, say, oil paints and not for acrylics. I don't know. What did it say on the label, John? Anything particular? Uh, sorry, didn't read it. <laughs> well, <laughs> far be it from us to read the directions on labels. That's so, it was just a sticker, just so saying, old just school, saying, right? All it said was it, was it was an acrylic palette. It didn't say what we could use on it. Oh, uh, well, you know... Um, I can't imagine if you put oil on it and you put turpentine on it to get the, get that off, that would make a mess. You know, it would be a cute wall decoration, wouldn't it, if you really did it up and then just hung it on the wall? Kind well, of I tell you what, if it, doesn't come, if it doesn't I come mean, clean. I mean, that would be fun. It wasn't much, right? You could do something really no kind of neat wall piece. I have no idea. I don't remember piece. ordering it. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. You know what I mean? I can always come up with something you could do with <laughs> if you buy it by mistake, right? 
Um, okay, so I've got this funny thing to share with you that happened in Houston. I saw this on the feed, and uh, uh, apparently last week in Houston, it was on the YouTube Facebook feed, I guess, some attorney had two genuine, genuine, the real deal, Andy Warhol paintings, and some rich attorney here in Houston, and apparently he invited a young lady over to spend the night, and it didn't go well. I don't know what happened between the two of them. But whatever it was, she was hop the expression hopping mad. She was hopping mad, and she just totally destroyed his pictures. He just, she just, just took them out. Took them out. Just apparently that and some other stuff in the house. But it was $300,000 worth of stuff. So anyway, I'm always sorry when artwork gets destroyed. Andy Warhol was not one of my favorites. If you're wondering what he did, he was the guy that did the Campbell soup, soup cans. And I can remember, I was actually seven, 18 years old, and we were living in Aspen, Colorado. Cinnamon's dad and I had gone to a, a, a fancy, fancy premiere of um, an opening of a Beatles movie. or No, it was a Tom Jones movie. Remember when Tom Jones? Oh, remember yeah. that comedy, Tom Jones? And we'd gone to the special theater there in Aspen, where they used to have concerts in the summer, and they had the in the lobby because Andy, Andy Warhol wasn't all that yet. He was getting all that, but he wasn't there. There were these giant p paintings of soup cans, and I remember as an artist looking at that, going, "Are you kidding me? <laughs> really, <laughs> really? You know, I'm just saying that was my 17-year-old self going, and the and the uh, older self hasn't <laughs> changed that much either. But anyway, um, and he also did those. Marilyn Monroe shots where they're kind of all the different colors. Those were kind of pretty. Did some different stuff and hung out in New York, New York artist. All right, so we've got thalo blue, ultramarine blue, thosdine purple, yellow, yellow oxide, thalo green. Oh, yeah, magenta. We're putting out some magenta. I, I don't know. I think one of these palettes, this is a wall hanging, would be pretty and glue some brushes and stuff on there and smear some paint around. Well, somebody suggested if we don't like it, we'll auction it off. Okay, <laughs> we can do that. We can do that, and we'll sign it, auction it off. All right, so here's my paint, and I'm going to start with them. Um, um, I need to get a darker color up here on the sky, all right? So I'm going to take some Dosnine Purple, a little ultramarine blue, okay? Mix that right there. That's pretty dark. Tiny bit of Cad Red Medium to that, and a little more ultramarine blue. That's dark, and I want to come up here. Now look how much darker that is. Well, we'd like to thank Miss Brooke for the donation. She's saying, last day for great prices, become an Academy student. Oh, that yeah, that's true. right. That, thanks, Miss Brooke. Wow, that's right. Because um, our Art Academy, um, you know, we, we want to welcome all our new members, the fabulous members in, from around the world that have joined us. And come uh, January uh, tonight, 1st, which is tonight at midnight, midnight, our prices will have gone up on our, our Art Academy uh, website gingercooklive.gallery or .com gingercooklive.com or .gallery either one of those will get you there okay all right so see i'm making this a little bit darker I, I, there's no point and then as long as i'm in this dark color here let's come down into here where we know we're going to put let's just darken this down here uh, with the same color we know we want it kind of dark down under here too so might as well put it right this is just a bright Bristol on brush. It's any old bright brush will work. It's an eight. There's been quite a discussion this week on brushes. Okay, <laughs> so I'm sorry. I, I just feel like I know, right? <laughs> oh, just, excuse us. I just know, right? Just how, you know how you just know things? Yeah. Like you know that best food mayonnaise is the best mayonnaise? You know, just what what certain, kind is? Best foods, isn't it? Best foods. What is, what's it called? What it was? What's the mayonnaise we like that I know so much about? I've been using that you know so much. <laughs> you're, you're, you're really proving the point here that you know so much about it. Well, it's the one I've been buying for years. I mean, it's the one I always buy, like Heinz ketchup. You know, what I mean, it's just certain things you know. That's the example I'm using. But it's what, it, what's our mayonnaise? Is it Dean's? No. No. It's it was, not Hellman's, right? Yeah, Hellman's. Hellman? You're going for Hellman's is the best? Yeah. No, Duke's. Oh, no, I don't know. No. I never oh, had no, Duke. Duke's, Duke, Duke's mayonnaise, yeah. Okay, well, anyway, see, what, is, what does he know? Nothing. So, <laughs> just, I'm just saying that, you know, you have these opinions about things, whatever they are, right? Whether it's the Morton salt or the, you know, you get <coughs> certain brands of things that you like. 
And I got to tell you that the Silver Brush Company is my br my brush company. That's what I like. I oh, mean, you I, own them? You, you, you brush, br oh, I see. I like the Silver Brush Company, and I like the brushes they sell. I mean, Cinnamon's got a great line of Art Sherpa brushes. That's my daughter, the Art Sherpa. Um, I prefer um, these um, Ruby Satin Silver short handle brushes for most of the details I use. I love those. I like, I, for years I was using um, only Ruby Satin Silver Bright and Filbert brushes, which are a part of their line. And we have a video on, um, on the materials I use. The Bristol lots I had never used before, mainly because my art, art store didn't carry them. And they were uh, like a, a little bit of a, they were like a one step up from the silvers. And I did like them. Somebody said they wanted a stiffer brush. Those would be it. Okay. Yeah, they were very stiff, very springy. Very springy and stiff. So, you know, but again, everybody, we all have opinions about things, right? All right, so now I'm going to just... Well, um, I guess best food is, is helmets, according to our... Yeah, best foods. I was right. You just, you, you, you challenged Well, I don't know me. anything. Well, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> you know, nothing. Well, well, it's okay. I just sit here pushing buttons. I have no you're, idea what You're I'm a doing. guy. What do you know? Yeah, I know <laughs> just, nothing. You don't know. You just sit down and eat the food, right? Yeah. You don't know. Okay, so, but those of us that know, know these things. All right, so what I'd like to do is dry this blue, Okay. So well, we're going to just take a, a second. Can we dry, take a minute and dry that? Sure. Let's just do that. We'll take just a second to dry it. And I think it's best. I'm not, I don't care about the bottom part. This part up here, because I want that green to go on there and the, and the, and the peach. The peach is not going to. What would happen to peach over um, dark blue? Just would start mixing colors right on the canvas. Can't have that. So, all right. You ready? We're going to dry you. it. I'm muting you. All right. We're muted. Here's the hairdryer. Well, she's gone. We got her muted out. Hey, we'd like to thank everybody for joining us on our first Sunday Live lesson. It's got to be the plug down at the bottom. That cord's about had. We have to get a new end on it again. Wiggle it around a little bit. You get it? No. Well. All right, hang on. There we go. <laughs> we have an extension cord that goes into the other room. All right. While she's drying that, uh, I'd like to thank everybody for joining us. Hey, we just reached 400 people watching live right now. We appreciate you guys coming out on a Sunday snowy afternoon, except in Houston. It's nice and about 55 or so. So really appreciate you guys joining us. Our new days will be Sunday at 2.30 p.m. Central and Monday at 7.30 p.m. Central. We just have 400 people on the show right now, Ginger. Oh, that's so awesome. We're so, so welcome, everybody. We're doing the Aurora Borealis, um, which is, um, I had to actually look it up how to spell that. Boy, that's a challenge. Okay, so <laughs> we've dried our dark blue purple sky, right? So let's take a, make sure we have a clean brush. And then when you put your brush in water, Ring it out, you guys. Pinch it, ring it out. Ring it out. Just pinch it. Make sure that there's no water in the feral part in here. Okay? Now, let's take some white and a little bit of phthalo green. Okay? Like that. That's a great color, isn't it? That phthalo green. Now, here's, here's what happens. Then wipe the paint off the brush. Okay? okay. Does that make any sense to anybody? Yeah. Well, that's what you do. And then you come up here using the side of the brush like this. Barely touching it, and you're going to make this sort of green, foggy haze. Okay? So you're kind of like a dry brushing it on. You know, we're kind of dry brushing it on here because I want this part. The, you want the edges of your Aurora Borealis to be feathered, okay? And then as you come in, you add more paint so that the outside stuff is very feathered. Okay? And let's, you, you want to leave a dark spot, so let's come up over here. Now, I'm going to leave the paint on this part. Now, look at the difference, see? If I leave the paint on the edge, then I'll pinch it, and then I'll use the side of the brush, barely touch it, just sort of, you know, scatter that out. Maybe I'll have something coming down in here like that. And, I mean, I'm sure, I've never seen it, but I'm sure it's like clouds or anything else. It's changing constantly. So if yours looks a little different than mine, it kept moving, right? Have you ever heard of John Atkins Grimshaw? No. All right, so a little bit more color, a little bit more green now here in the middle. I'm brightening this up a little bit, okay? 
Okay, we'd like to thank Karen for the, dona the donation. Thanks, Ginger and John, and Happy New Year's. Oh, gosh, thanks so much. Now we're going to get a little bit of yellow. Thanks, Karen. And um, just, just mix it on the plate here and then wipe it off, tap it off. Barely touch that, maybe a little bit of yellow in here. How about a little tiny bit of yellow oxide? Now a little bit on the brush, tap it off, barely touch it. So you're just trying to get some interesting colors going in here. How about a little bit of white on the brush? There we go. So you so, put the paint on, you're wiping it off, and yeah, you're going back Put the paint on, it. wipe it off. That's just about the right amount of paint. Not pushing very hard. See what I'm doing here? And, and what, I'm, what I'm going, I don't know if I'll get it exactly the way I did the last time, but what I'm going for is, um, you know, this sort of wonderful feel of color that's coming up here like that, all right? And I might go right into the yellow and white, a little bit of yellow, catch yellow medium and white, and just barely touch this. I'm barely going to touch it now, just, there you go. You know, you can have fun with this. Um, it's a, on a large canvas, this would be really stunning. I'm just showing you how to kind of do this. Now I'm going to rinse the brush, pinch Yeah, we're it thinking off. of a uh, 2024 on this puppy. Yeah, we're thinking this would be really pretty bigger. Now, I want to put the peach. Now, again, here, this is how you avoid muddy colors. See, red is in violet, or opposite green on the color wheels. So when you mix them together, you get mud. So this green has to dry before you put the peach on top. It's just a rule, okay? If you try to put it on wet, you can kind of get away with putting green over dark blue because they're all on this side of the color wheel together, okay? You don't have to memorize this stuff. It's like, this is like your cheat sheet, okay? If it's opposite itself on the color wheel, chances are you need to dry those colors before you put the other one. Good rule to know, right? Gingerism. All right, so I'm going to just put this brush down, and we're going to try one more time. We're going to... Um, Hair dry it. Hair dry it. Okay. Ready? I think I messed up her slider. Hey, look at my new gloves I got. Because we don't have a heater in the studio right now. Pretty cool, huh? So I can still keep typing. Look at those. Isn't that great? Well, we appreciate you again. You guys showing up on a Sunday for our first one. Um, are you fully dry? Yeah, it's dry. All right. Let me know if Ginger's uh, volume's good. I, I bumped her. Yeah. Incidentally, um, when you're talking about woodland scenes, we have got on YouTube some darling, darling. woodland scenes. If you want to know how to do pine trees, this is a hysterically funny video. It's under our most humorous videos. And it's a great one on how to do pine trees. All right, this is a great Why video for that. Why was that one that. so funny? And then, I, I don't know if you guys saw this one from last year. This was just sort of a cute little, very simple uh, cottage with a little snowman of you guys. Again, Great video on how to do pine trees. And then this was one of my favorite winter scenes we've got on YouTube. Um, th this one with the, uh, was in a collaboration with my daughter Cinnamon when we are all doing cabins. This is probably a little bit more uh, different style of painting, all right? What I try to do when I teach you painting is that someone says, I don't want to learn ginger style. Well, we don't have a style. We have lots of different ways to paint something. We show you that and you get your own style. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, now. A little smaller brush. Let's take. Hey, we'd like to thank Sandy for the the donation. Oh, thank you, Sandy. Hey, they like my new gloves. I held them up while you. While oh you're yeah. Well, John said his hands were getting cold because I, I I hate to t to just hang out dirty laundry here on the air. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, but you know, you know, you know. Once I started t telling you about my deceased alcoholic mother, then you know all bets were off. And <laughs> so the deal of it is, is that until we get this house sold, my ex husband and I own it together. And his part of the deal was he was supposed to hook up the heaters this winter for us. But we're going to wait till spring when it's warmer. Oh, uh, so we have no heat in here. So we have these little tiny electric heaters, which shorts all the blew out, blows out all the fuses. <laughs> it's like if you have the heater on, you can't use the hair dryer. It's a thing, right? So John's up here at night in this large studio over this three car garage. It's colder than heck up here, and his hands were cold. And so I suggested he get those gloves, which I thought was clever. All right, so here's a little white. And a little magenta, okay, see this nice pink color, okay, a little magenta, and a little tiny bit of yellow with it, just a touch, okay? Now, thank you, Cindy, for making the donation through PayPal. You can do that on our website. Thank you, Cindy. And it does benefit us a little bit more because YouTube takes a pretty big chunk out of it, whereas PayPal doesn't. So we appreciate mm -hmm. it. 
Yeah, thank you. Where, where can they find that on our website, John? It should be on the right-hand side of the green button. It says the Care <coughs> Little Scholarship Fund. Thanks. All right, a little bit more white in that. And the way the website is going under changes right now, so... All right, look, we've got a little bit whiter on top here like that. See, isn't that pretty? Yeah, Don't you pretty. love that? Isn't it? I love this. Now, I want to come over here. And you and cannot even begin to do this if that green was still wet. No, it wouldn't work. So here's a little bit of this pink above this. Then wipe the brush off and just kind of take maybe a little white. The weekly rates will not increase except for Canada and Australia. They're, oh, but here's the thing. Going up <coughs> here's something you may not know. <coughs> Is that... We've had people with us almost four years, and they they started off with, you know, we had a new lesson every week. We had like, I don't know, 20, 30 lessons up there. It was very, inex you know, it was like, I don't know. It was 20 bucks. 20 bucks <laughs> or, you know, seniors 20, were like 25. 17. Yeah. And, um, but we grandfather everybody in. So if nobody ever leaves us, whatever whatever price you land, as long as you keep your subscription or your either monthly or annual, that's your rate. That's your rate till we're dead, right? <laughs> we don't do this yeah. anymore. That's your rate. So that's a, a lot of people don't realize that. Um, a lot of people have got a really good deal because of the. Yeah, we grandfather people years. in, and we're happy to do it because they hung with us when um, you know nobody ever heard of us. All right. Now so, speaking of the schedule, for those members out there, we are going to kind of change things up on how we're doing things on the website. We used to say that we're going to do a lesson every Thursday. Because of the complexity of the lessons, we're not going to guarantee when they're going to show up. Because the last lesson we just did, you have that handy? You know, yeah, moment. let me just show you this. This is a lesson that's going to be coming up, but we're going to do it bigger. Do you guys like this? This will be one of our lessons on our website, but I'm going to do it about 24 by 30. It's probably going to be about a five, six hour lesson. So, you know, I mean, that's when we first did lessons every week, they were like an hour. Hour, hour and a half. You know, but what we're going to guarantee is that, like the best lessons ever on our website, and you know, we, you know, when they when we're going to get them because there's a lot more editing. But I love this one, don't you? That's going to be great, big. So anyway, that's one of the ones that we're doing. Here's one. Um, well, you let me that finish. that waving water that I'm currently <coughs> working on? Yeah, the, where's the waving water you're currently working on? It should be right on. behind you. On well, the here's the leopard. Can can you back zoom back out? Yeah, I'm out a little so, bit. Are you out a little bit? Look at this leopard. Here's our leopard one. It's on 16 by 16. That's the lesson that's coming up in um, January. Okay. We hope. And um, and then we've got um, where's that big one? Oh, here our wave and water masterclass. That's another one. We, it's every month we're, we're putting one. We just can't tell you if it's the first or whatever. But this is one. This well, I can canal. tell you it won't be the first because that's tomorrow and it's yeah, not it's not going to be any... here tomorrow. But look, that's from one of our old dead artists. Do you love it? So anyway, that's, that's um, you know, these are large size, just as an example of things that take a little time. All right, so you see we've got our pink, <coughs> and I want to brighten this up. I want a little orange. Let's take a little cad red medium and yellow and add that to our mixture. And let's just add a little bit of orange in here. Then pinch the brush off and just kind of barely touch it and pull in a little of this color too, like that. There you go. Wow. Great, right? All right, so there, that's our Aurora Borealis coming up in this way in our sky, okay? Maybe I'll put just dry brush in a little tiny bit here on the edge. Barely touch it, just something like that. All right, so now we're going to work on our houses, you guys. Fun? Okay, so we know that, uh, we're just going to start with what we know. Well, we know that the roofs can't, the snow has to be sort of a blue color. So let's take a little phthalo blue and white. And we'll take a little tiny bit of ultramarine blue with that, okay? And what else can we do? A little tiny bit of cad red medium to tone it down, like a drop, okay? Now I'm just going to come up here like this for now. Make sure you've got this nice angle here on this on this house. This is just um, here, all right? And I'm going to come this way, and I'll, we're going to put other colors on top of this. Everything always gets layered, but. Um, Here's this um, roof line, bring this down a little bit. There you go, like that. Let's bring that up. I think we want to bring that up because this is this one. Here we go. Kind of lost my picture here for a second, but I mean, these are Monopoly houses, you guys. I made these real simple, okay? So that's, that's the first thing we're gonna do is just sort of put those in here so you kind of know where everything is, right? 
And then you could take a little bit of white paint, a little tiny bit of magenta with that, and your brush is dirty, so it's going to be kind of purpley. And then look, just come on up here and lighten some of this. Purpley, I like that name, purpley. Purpley, you like that word, purpley? Yeah, purpley. All right, so this is still wet, so we can't, again, we can't do that much. We're just going to kind of lighten this up a bit. A little bit of white here to lighten this up. Ooh, let's just take some white. Now, I didn't wipe it off the brush, you see. When I didn't wipe it off the brush, it's mixing right there on the, um, on the canvas. Okay, because I didn't wipe it. All right, so there's my, all right, we got those little houses in so far. And you're going, what houses? We don't have anything in. Well, we got them kind of there, right? <clears throat> now, we, what do we know? We know we got some windows on these little houses. So I'm just going to put some white where the windows go. I'm going to put a little bit of white right here, and a little white right up here. Should have dried that. All right, here's this. This brush is kind of big for that, but we're going to come across here like this. Do this little thing at an angle. These angles have to be the same as the roof. And we're saying that that's a little kind of an overhang here. Sure, we like to say, please so, Ginger, she has inspired me to pick up a brush again. She has inspired me. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so pleased with that because that's, you know, happy to have done that, okay? So, all right, so now what do we know for sure? Well, we know for sure. What do we know for sure? We know we need a little bit of this pink color kind of maybe in front of our houses here a little bit like this for the just a little bit and then let's take a little bit of this blue color come underneath it one little purple with that let's put a little purple in that blue and I'm going to just sort of you know make some um, make some waves here or you know waves of snow that's almost like waves it's got it's a little lighter here okay like that and I want to leave some of the dark showing like this, and here's it's just going to come over here like that. And um, so the light might be hitting the top of those snowbanks, okay? Uh, we got some little snowbank like this. We got a tree here. See, this is easier than you thought, isn't it? As long as we're doing that, let's take a little more white on the brush. Come on here, it's still wet. Let's just come up here using our angle brush and um, lighten this top of the roof, and maybe right here. That is your go-to brush. My go-to brush. I'll pinch it off and do it again. Coming up here on this one. Julia would like to know, has Ginger ever watered, watered, pfft, watered down paint and do a wash to give an antique look? Um, you know what you can do? You can take, if you want an antique look, um, I saw this years ago and it works like a champ. Um, Raw umber as a glaze will, will make something look old. And if you add a little raw umber to every, every, all your colors, it'll make it look old. Okay? You know? And also you can do crackle, all, crackle it, all kinds of stuff. It's sort of interesting. All right. So now what we have to have back here is some, um, uh, what we need to have back here are some of these trees. So let's, uh, let's put in, let's take a little tiny angle brush in our purple, dark purple color with a little bit of ultramarine blue. That's going to be our, and oh, let's put a little bit of phthalo green in that. Oh, that's pretty. All right, so here's, and we're going to come right up here like this. Start up here with a little angle brush like this. Come back down here like this. What color is that? This is a purple, phthalo green, and a little ultramarine blue. It's the darkest it thing. I, it's real dark. I'm going to come up here and make this little pine tree. Now you want this little angle brush because uh, you want to be able to do very, very tiny um, pine trees. And this one feels like it's frayed. I think this one's frayed. Let me try a newer one. That one's going in the water. New, new, new brush, new plan. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there you go. T little, remember, pine trees are taller on top. So then they come under here like this. Don't lose all your pink. Okay, come like this, and we're just putting in these little, this row of pine trees. And this may, don't make them all the same height. That's something everybody wants to do. They start it, and they make them all the height, same height. Change the height on some of them. All right. Okay, so there's our little pine trees. And I'll bring them down under the snowbank right about here next to the house. Okay. Now, moving on, let's put some right here. Let's say we've got a few that are sticking up over the house this way. 
couple, the different heights again. Um, just indicating some trees. Well, Julie right from there. Australia says hello. Hi. What time's it in Australia? Uh, it's gotta be in the middle of the night. Is it? It must be. Well, we appreciate you guys hanging in there with us. There's just some little pine trees right like that. Okay. And then same color. Let's just come back over here on this side. Okay. You see, and we'll put some snow to kind of make all this work. But here's our, see how we sort of brought our house in like that. Okay. So now, um, that's kind of cool, right? I'm going to take the same color and come up here and kind of trim this up, make sure I have a good um, dark line here where the this part of the house is. Just make it that color. Okay. Now. Sammy would like to say, can't tell you how happy I am that you're doing Sundays. I am sure I can <clears throat> speak for all of us in the UK when I say thank you so very much. Oh, I'm so pleased that you guys like it. Okay. It's 7 a.m. 7 a.m. in Australia. Wow. So much for being in the middle of the night. Wow. Happy New Year. It's New Year in Australia. Well, it's already right. New Year's to them. Yeah, okay. It's so already we... over. They've been partying already. All right. So we're going to do a little bit thin line here. We're going to come across here like this. We're going to indicate, not the full, don't do the full line. Just suggest some lines using your angle brush. Just suggest some lines for your log house. Okay. Keep them kind of straight. Okay, just a little bit, maybe just some yellow oxide over here. Again, if we were doing these bigger, you'd have to be a little bit more cognizant of what you're doing. <coughs> like that, here's a little bit of yellow oxide. Oh, I want some white there. I'm, I know I've got a window here, and I've got a little bit of a, I want to make the letter A here in white, like a little arrow in white. And the same thing over here. Just like, that's kind of hard to do, but like a little arrow right there where that little dormer is. Now, when that dries, we'll come back and fool with it. Okay, it's let's lighten these in up. Sweden. This is a pretty good time to go. It's 10 o'clock and p.m. in Sweden. Okay. All right, so you see our little houses. Now, now what? Well, we could take some brown. We got a little burnt, burnt umber here. We could come up here and just make a little chimney right here and then take a little bit of cad red medium and yellow kind of like a little orange color and then on the one side of the chimney it's got to be a different color it can be dark brown on the front and one side's got to be slightly different okay i want to show you something on our um, chalkboard so if you're doing this bigger you'll understand can we take a second here and i'll show you okay. <coughs> <coughs> all right so you've got your house right so you've got your chimney that's here now if you were making this bigger right so this now look this edge of the chimney is going to slant down like that in this arrow see that because it's sitting on the the roof's tilted right so right. this is where people get and when you do the dormer okay let's just make this bigger so you can see when we do the dormer okay you're going to make the letter a okay like this now now this is going to slant this way, and then this line will be shorter. Does that make sense? Because it's a, at the angle on the, the roof. Angle of the roof. Okay. This has got to follow the angle of the roof. Does that make sense? It does to me. All right. I, I don't know if I showed that right. On, I think on, you did good. You know. So that's and then you know if you were doing it, you know maybe you'd have some snow on the chimney that was kind of doing this. You know if you were doing this bigger, right? Right. And you had more detail. Okay. And then this would be all snow here, like that. Fudge a little bit, okay? Because <coughs> I know it's kind of hard to see. I'm doing this so small. You're going, well, I know what she's doing. Did you see what she was doing? I had no idea what she was doing. You know, that kind of thing. All right, a little bit of burnt umber, yellow, ox yellow oxide. I'm just going to come in here on this side of our, make some logs in my cabin. Just even just do it that color. Okay, and then let's see, just brighten that up just a hair. All right, we're saying there's our cabin there. Now, 
when you're talking about reflections in water, it's going to be straight down from whatever it's reflecting. So if we're taking a little bit of yellow, right, like this, and you, when you're doing water, you don't want to do it white. You want it to be not quite as bright. We're going to, we're going to start like right down from this window. So we're going to just um, do some lines like that. We know that's going to be yellow, so we're going to do some lines like that. Skip a few spaces, right? Let's make a little orange because we know it's going to be orange. How do we know? Because I saw the, the other one, right? Here's some orange. Now yeah, maybe I can put that right over the window here. Same thing here too. <clears throat> That's probably dried enough to do that. All right, so see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna say, okay, so I think in this, in the original picture, we said that was a door, I don't know, taller window or something. So straight down, mm, yeah. Sammy right. would like to know, how do we do this and uh, make a log cabin out of this? If we're gonna do it bigger, how would we do the logs? Um, you're going to have to find a um, a reference a reference for logs and do it like the reference. Just Google log cabin, so you have a lot of different ones to look at. And you're going to—that's how you paint it. Because generally, log cabins, you know, what I mean, um, have like, um, you know, like they have the little round things like this on them, like that, that kind of thing. Yeah, you are going to have time for a giveaway today? I don't know, John. We may, we may do a giveaway. It's New Year's. We should do a giveaway. Well, that's we, what I'm thinking. All right, let's do a giveaway today. I think. Yeah, we we're going to do a giveaway today. Oh, I that means I have to get the website ready. And get all right, it all. so I'm going to put a little pink with this too, right? Yeah, I'm going to come up here like this with a little pink from our water. All right, like this. And um, excuse my back. I want a little more yellow. One of the tricks with the windows is put a little yellow in them. You know, just almost pure color. And uh, let's put a little yellow in here like that. And the same thing like this. And, um, okay, something like that. Okay, so with that's drying, that's pretty already though, isn't it? I mean, we didn't do anything and that's already kind of pretty. All right, let's put this big pine tree in here. Well, I guess we could, wait a minute, we could still do some snow here on the roof. All right, so we're gonna I'm say, I'm gonna use just, here's my, snow here on the, on that little roof line here in that little A-frame here. The same thing here on this side, like that. There's my little bit of snow. And I'm going to take a little bit of white like this and put it up here and a little bit on, on the chimney. Sherry would like to know, would this be a good painting to start with if I haven't painted in a while? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sherry, no. No, it wouldn't be. I mean, I've got to be honest with you. It wouldn't be. This would not, probably not be your best one. I would start with, say, um, this one was really pretty easy, you guys. This one um, on YouTube, that was that a pretty one? easy one. That was pretty easy, I thought. And this one is really easy. Maybe start yeah. with this and figure out how to do the trees. Yeah. We've got some, you know, uh, but look, I, I always want to be as you know straightforward with you as I can. Now, look, see, I'm kind of lightening up the snow a little bit. See how on top of the, isn't this clever? See, so put a little white and yellow in this. How many cookies would you classify this one? This is probably a two cookie lesson for sure. All right, so here we're going to put the snow on the eaves like that, and that's what this little brush does so well. Like that. So we're going to put some snow here. And then um, you want to have some fun with the snow. I'll show you. We're going to take a little snow, a little bit of ultramarine blue and white, okay? So we don't want it to. Let's put a little bit of the green with it. That's nice. Tiny bit of that green. Now, we're going to say that snow fell on our trees here. I'm just tapping in our branches. Okay. Two little tiny dots. Let's see our little pine trees back here next to our house, right? Don't need a lot of detail. Let's pick a little more green with that, a little bit more of that thalo green. Okay, we said there's some pine trees. Um, <coughs> barely want to touch it. You want to make sure you're leaving some dark. We're going to have this be a little lighter. Maybe some white on top of some of this. Some of this will be a little lighter, like that. Remember, nothing's ever just one color. And if you get carried away and you've got when the white dries, you can put um, you can put uh, the the um, 
green back. It's a dark green back if you got carried away here. All right, so we're going to say that there's our trees back here that are all snowy. So let's do these a little wider. All right, same thing with this one. And you want the paint just on this flat of the brush. You don't want big gobs of it hanging off the brush. Okay, I'm going to say that this is this tree coming up that way. All right, so there's that tree, and I'm not real impressed with that one. Let's fix it. What, how do we lose you, baby? We did, though. All right, a little bit of purple. Because remember, it's just, they're taller, they're, they're smaller at the top, right? They're tinier at the top. And you always see some of the dark color. You always going to see some of the dark boughs. The snow is just falling on the top part and underneath dark green. All right, so I'm going to put a nice big tree right here. And we'd like to thank Eric for the <coughs> donation. Really appreciate that. Oh, thank you so much. It was really nice. As long as I'm in the brown and purple. Remember I told you we were going to do this side of the house, but make sure that the bottom part is angled. That little that little ha little dormer. Okay. And again, on a bigger painting, it would be a lot easier. Yeah, this is like, you know, you're just, we're being just tricky, but barely, right? <coughs> Much easier on a larger painting, quite frankly. All right, but it's coming along, right? Coming along. Now, I can count on Eric to make it bigger. He'll do it. <laughs> He'll do it. He'll make it bigger. All right, now I'm going to start with the dark coming up here, right? Saying this is my tall, big tree. Dark blue, a little bit of purple, dark blue, maybe a little bit of green. The green in there. Yeah, there we go. And let's just say we're going to come here like this, and I'm going to just make this all dark. And you're going, what are you painting? And Because you can't see it, can you? I mean, you can see it's slightly darker than what I was doing. And so that one's in the foreground. Constantly, I'm using such a small brush. I'm constantly having to get it. This is our foreground tree. He's so giving you that, that depth. Yeah, that's we're going to add depth to this one. So while that's, meanwhile, back at the ranch, while that one's drying, okay, I might take some phthalo green and white. And um, I want to come next to it. I'm just If it's not showing up, you know what I mean? If your trees are not showing up, I might can always add a little bit of the background color, okay? So it shows, I, I want a little bit of green on this side of it. Okay, like that, so something, so that even with the white, you're still gonna see it, okay? Levon has a question for you. Yeah. Not sure what method of pricing I should use to sell my paintings. Ginger, do you have any suggestions for me? I have only been selling for nine months. Well, yeah, I do. A lot of times new artists will wanna sell by the hour, and. You know, quite frankly, should I say something really um, unflatteringly <laughs> unkind? <laughs> I'm going to say it anyway, because you know I love you. <clears throat> Nobody gives a darn how long it took you to paint something, and particularly if you're incompetent. You know what I mean? It took you 50 hours to do something, even if it's perfect. Someone else could have done it in 10. But if you could do it in 10 and it's perfect, you don't want to say, it took me 10 minutes, because no one thinks it's worth anything. So if you can paint really quickly, for heaven's sakes, don't tell people how... Just don't get in a discussion about how long it took you to paint anything. It's none of their business. Like a, a surgeon can go in and take your appendix out in a few hours. How many, how many days did he spend in medical school learning how to do that? So just, you know, that kind of thing. That being said, okay, um, that being said, we're going to put some color here on our snow while we're doing that, right? And in our windows. Um, that being said, um, changing brushes now um you you try, try to get your materials back start figuring out how much all this stuff costs you which don't sell it for less than your materials cost and um and i would say at that point i'm going to do a little light green here now um we're going to put some we're going to put some snow going across here zigzagging like ice that's on our lake that's not um I want you to see how I'm zigzagging it. I would say, um, as far as selling it goes, th th some people like to do it by the square inch, if you know. But I would say for sure, figure out what your materials cost are. Um, depends who you're selling it to. Galleries are going to charge um, three times the money. You know, sometimes triple 
15, they were going to take a 50 to 75 percent commission depending on where you are and I have all kinds of people say oh I never paint pay them that it's not worth it sure it is because they have to sit there with that painting maybe for months before someone buys it they have to pay rent and overhead um, if you're going to be selling trying to get into art galleries you don't want stuff for sale on your website guess what because they're not going to take you if they think you're selling on your website because here's what will happen once you get to be um, and this is this happens to, you know to artists once you get where you're recognized and so for instance this happened to me for instance people will say I'll have a gallery in New York at one time and I had galleries all over the United States people would want a painting they'd call everybody to see the best deal you know there's the internet now so you have to kind of watch that all right I'm going to put a little more green back up in here I want to brighten this up here just now that I've got this kind of like that look at that isn't that pretty and the same thing over here like this a little bit of green right here <coughs> oh this is coming along isn't it Julie's asking has ginger ever been an advocate for people with mental health issues <coughs> because of her colorful paintings well, are you saying that we all colorful paint people that do colorful paintings are have mental <laughs> health issues this is what we're saying here <coughs> um, I sure. don't know I'll just um one person's crazy is someone's else sanity. How's there you that? go. I had an agent one time, bless her heart, <laughs> and um, everybody from her planet was named Aka something, and she was a walk-in into this body. We talked about her before, and um, but boy, could she sell art? You know, I've just got to tell you, she could really sell art, but. Um, you know, if that would have been considered, some, somebody else might have considered her to have real mental health issues. She was a good artist. She, she wasn't an artist, but she had a good eye for art. And she had some interesting stories, to, you know, that she told. All right, I'm going to put another a tree right here, a dark tree, a little bit bigger. Ooh, I'm out of thin. But look at that. We're out of the green here. Well, that, could, that palette could be a, the next auction piece to go up. I can't imagine that's all going to come off if it dries on there. Well, me neither. All right, so we're going to come up here. Don't line up one tree directly under another pointed one. Kind of split the difference here. We're going to say we've got a little pine tree here. See how I'm just tapping that in here? This is dark color. I've got one here like this, and then I've got a smaller one. I'm getting reloading the brush to get that. I've got a little smaller one next to it. like that. Now I'm going to take a little bit of white and take a little blue. <coughs> there you go. So just got to give it some land next to it like that. I'm going to say that that's the edge of our pond right there. Now, this is fun. Let's do the white. Let's just come up here with white. Now, starting up here on the tree, using just the tip of my angle brush, I'm going to say that here's some white. Remember that. That's, uh, let's put a little bit of green with that, and a little phthalo blue. There you go. Let's say that the um, snow fell on the clumps of this, right, like that. Maybe a little ultramarine blue. Let's try that. Okay. There we go. Now we're going to come this way in front of here. This bow down this way. Like that. Let's see, a little ultramarine blue and white. Change these up just a bit. Okay, more white, a little bit of green. Now remember, I'm going to say that this, um, let's see, a little more white. Just tapping it in here like this. That's where the snow is plunking down on this tree. So you like that. We're just suggesting a pine tree here. Remember that have, you know, what about the branches that are facing us? <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Let's bring this out into our lake a little bit further. Okay. With that, let's come on up here. And, uh, Okay, let me switch brushes. That one's too big. So, what do you get? If you get too much, just take a, you know where the dark paint is. You can just kind of eliminate, right? There you go. 
So I'm going to take the smaller brush and do these. Whoops, no globs, please, no globs. I'm going to go taffing it this way. And look, look at some, go find a reference picture and see how the snow is falling on top of the tree. Uh, please, none of this, I mean, we're going to talk about this because I know there's people, there's some of you that are going to do this. <laughs> I, I don't understand it. You're going to do this because look, you've got this pine tree. We're going to talk about this one more time. You've got this pine tree and it's got these, and it's full. I mean, you just saw some of you just got a bunch of Christmas trees. And as you get down toward the bottom, the, 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 um, the branches get bigger, right? This is kind of what they do. I mean, sometimes they go up and there's different kinds. Now you've got snow falling. So where it's going to hit, it's going to hit, it's going to land on the top of these um, branches. I don't know if this chalk is even going to do it for me. It's going to land on the top. It's going to fall on the top. See what I mean? It has to fall on the top where the dark part underneath is. And then there are bigger branches, so maybe it's going to fall like this. And there's your snow. Does that make sense? That's what it has to do. So we're not going to do... Okay? Well, that's what we did in first grade. I know, but we're not going to do it. We're, okay. we're not going to do it. I know everybody wants to do it, but we're not. We, we, we've nipped that in the bud. <clears throat> this is what we've done. We've nipped it in the bud. All right, back to our little whites. We're going to say, remember, and I'm going to say here, here it's falling. That brush has been in water now, so I've got to really wipe it off now. Because I don't want any water on this. It's just titanium white. See, and it's going to do, 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 do. All right, there's this little tree here. And then here's the little guy behind it, his friend. Little tiny friend behind it. There's the snow. you got to imagine where the snow's landing. It's just gonna it's gonna say pine tree because that's what we said it was, right? Okay, now one thing we can do is we can put a little pink on this. We can have a little bit of maybe a little bit of pink on our um remember I showed you the photo of the reference photo? So maybe we're gonna say that there's a little bit of pink on this tree like that. Now if we wanted to, I guess I guess if you wanted to, you could also at some point you could um, you know, put a trunk if you wanted to, if that made you feel happier. <laughs> Um, you know, I don't always put a trunk, but you certainly could, right? And I'm just going to suggest a little bit of this pink up here. That's a magenta and white. Might, might, just on this side, probably just on the right side where it might be picking up something. Now let's get some more white here. It takes a little, you got to work on these a little bit. Okay, remember that the, that the snow comes across in front, too. It's not just, let's see, it's going to be on a shady side. This side will be a little shadower, more, more, maybe more shadowy. Okay. So you're saying, there it is. Now, if you lose your green, if you lose your dark color, you can put it back. It's okay. You can come back underneath your boughs and put your color back. If you've lost it, if you got just carried away with your little blobs of paint. <laughs> okay. Put your color back if you need to. Put it back, and so you have your pine tree. And um, let's see. I want to say that this one's in front of that one. Okay, so there we go. So that's this pine tree. That's this little tiny one here. Now let's put a few more. Um, let's put a, like a little bit of something light right here. All right. So we're getting our our stuff now. How about some light green now? We got the white. We did this green. Let's put a little bit of light on top of this. Make that so nothing's just one shade. So here's almost some like that. Just not the whole thing, but remember this is sort of snow that's laying across your bank that's doing this. And I think I want some pink. I know it's this pink color. And I'm going to put some of that color in our water too. You know, maybe just because you can, right? I mean, I just I think that's pretty, right? So there's our pink color. Now let's make sure we have all our lights from our cabin. You know, I hope we do all our lights from our cabin. So let's see, we're gonna come down here like this. 
right? Um, and um, I feel like my dormer here got a little bit lost in the... I need to make him bigger. Okay, how am I going to make him bigger? He needs to be a little bigger. All right, there you go. Just a little bit bigger on this one. There you go. And um, there you go. There's some lights from that. Kind of pretty, right? Kind of coming along here. And then um, let's take a little bit of, um, oh, how about a little bit of this green color? Here's our bank. And you want to cross over some of this like that. Keep, keep your water going. Now, while this is drying, every, anybody's, everybody's got a Posca pen now, right? I've talked you all into getting those. A little Posca pen. Everybody yeah. should. Okay, so we're going to shake them up. Um, tap them on something, make sure they work. All right, so we're going to come up here like this and do some stars in our dark sky. Be a deliberate. Um, some stars are going to be closer together. Others are farther away. Some are bigger. Okay, now could you use a toothbrush and do this? Yeah, probably. You know, do that. But I like, I like this pen. And some are going to be very tiny. Well, I'm going to put that in the water, too. Maybe they're reflecting stars in the water. Now, let's see. I'm going to just, as long as I'm playing with my pen, I'm going to just sort of fudge it a little bit here. Um, okay, something like that. And I want to, I want something dark for the, um, um, dormer. So let's see, I need a teeny little brush. And I need to take the purple. And I need to come up here like this and make an A. See, sometimes you just have to put stuff in again. Let's get our chimney a little bit darker here. And the same thing here. Do I have my, I don't want to lose my A on this. Okay on that house. And again, if you're doing it bigger, here's a little bit of orange, kind of cad red, medium, and yellow, for a little bit of bright orange. Let's rinse my brush because I had purple on it. Uh, there, I want a little bit brighter orange up here in the window here. Come on, yellow, and there we go. Yeah, just add some more brights to the water. Okay, so it's coming along. I think this, I, you guys, I don't think this was too hard. Do you think this was, don't you think this was pretty, um, pretty easy? Once you, once you saw me do it, do we have any comments on that? As people are seeing this as difficult or easy or, be very curious. What size is Ginger's Posca pen? Uh, that's the very, the skinniest one. It's the finest one. The fine point. The fine point. A, they don't call it fine point. Um, they do it by millimeters. They go by millimeters. They're probably just, point seven. Put it, put some in here like that. Down in here. Down onto our stuff. And um, you could do a. They make you know they make like a little black one too. And for those of you who want to. Um, you know, have a little more detail around your, like, your windows and stuff. If you wanted to, um, you know, do little cross hatches in your windows, you can use a pen to do that. Um, I, I don't think at this size it would make that much difference, okay? I really, really don't. But now, let's take a little bit of white and, uh, Start adding some lights here on top of here like that. 
Remember, the top of the mounds of your snow mounds are where it's going to catch the light. So you want those a little lighter. See what we're just doing? We're just kind of finishing this up now. Saying that this is where, particularly by the house here, I'm going to say that's lighter. And you want it kind of dark around your um, water because we're not saying, we're not exactly saying where the bank ends. And I like this sort of pink, purple, magenta, orange color. I'm going to brighten this up just a hair. We'll make that a little bit lighter. Acrylics dry darker, so sometimes you've got to just pop something again. Just if you have to come back and pop a few colors because you, you looked and then you're going, what happened? Or come back with some brighter yellow and um, you know, pop up a reflection that you may, maybe just got a little dark on you. Okay, so then let's see, we should have some smoke coming out of our chimney. I want a little bit more pink around the outside of my house here. Uh, so I just take a little pink and do that. There, see where that house now shows up. And let's take a little bit of white, pinch it off, and come up here like this and wiggle it up. Put a little smoke going up into the sky like that. And if you wanted to, you could add a chimney on this house too if you wanted. I've got a couple of trees here, but you certainly could put a chimney there. And I want to just take a little bit of the blue color and add a little bit more snow on this little guy right here. Okay, like that. Kind of make him come out. And so this is kind of what you're doing now is wherever there's a light, there's a dark. So do you have to, uh, you know, do you have to lighten up your roof somewhere? Maybe we got that a little dark. I'll lighten up this roof a little bit. This is where the layering of the paint comes in. It's so easy, so nice to do. There we go. Let's put a little bit of on the chimney here. And I'm not getting too crazy with icicles or all the rest of it, right? I'd like to Ooh. thank Cynthia for the donation. Oh, Happy thank you New so year. much. Happy New Year to Ginger and John. Love your guys. Thank you for everything you did. Oh, you guys, we appreciate that so much. Really. Not what we, we do, what we did. Oh, what we did. Well, what did we do? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, again, you want to just, um, you know, say that there's your, that, that's your, um, your, your little, you know, waterscape. If you want to just take some dark in here and, um, you want it to be dark around the water line, right? Okay. So that you can kind of diff you can see where your lake goes. <coughs> wow. I was up till like four in the morning last night trying to figure out how to sleep. With this stuff. Just, it's my fault. I just got talked into doing that. And uh, let's see. I think we did it in this one too. We said that there was a. Yeah, a little bit of a dormer house here like that. All right, you guys, that's my Aurora Borealis. We're going to do a quick little painting for our giveaway. Um, you guys, any questions on how you might do this? No, everybody seems to like it. Can't wait to do it. Okay, and I'm going to just add a few more green things here like that. Uh, just brighten up some green. Why don't you ever use the color black, Ginger? You know, sometimes I've done, I have done the color black, and just generally speaking, um, I don't need it. And it just, if you mix black with colors, it makes them all kind of muddy. But there are some cases where black can be appropriate. You know, that's the thing. I mean, um, and certainly in um, abstracts, a black, a good strong black is, is very impressive. Okay. Do you paint the sides of these of your paintings after? And if so, do you do solid colors or wrap around? What do you do? Um, um, well, on a gallery wrap, you know, a big wide gallery wrap, we would of course. But on these, sometimes I'll just use the leftover paint. I, here, I would probably just paint everything dark blue purple around it. If 
I was doing a big wide gallery wrap canvas, um, you could. For instance, can you zoom back out, John, for a minute? I can only try. All right, that's a good question, right? Zoom, yep. zoom us back out, right? I'm out. All right, here's this. Um, oops, I just bumped the camera. Sorry. See this Maybe, horse painting that we've got hold on, here? Hold on. You didn't tell me you're going to bring up the big guy. <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> all right, see our horse painting? That's a gallery wrap. Yeah, I didn't, and sometimes I'll bring it all the way around. This is one of our lessons that we're going to be doing. Um, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Yeah, they can see it. Um, that's one of our lessons that we're going to be doing in um, uh, January for our members of our art academy, and it's on a very, very large canvas, and you certainly could paint it all the way around the edge. But I generally take the extra paint and paint around the edge. Okay, so here's, here we are. I want you to just see them both. I mean, here's our picture. And if I was looking at this going, what, what, what might I need to do? And that's one of the things you want to do when you're looking at something is just come back in a day or two and look at it. Do I need to um, put a little bit of the, you know, tree back or something like that? Do I, what, what do I need to do? And, and that's one of the, just stop and look at stuff. So I'm going to say, here's my branches. I'm going to come back here like that and say, maybe put a little branch and come in because I'm saying this tree came off the canvas. So that's one of the things you can do. And I think we got pretty close to this. Don't you guys think so? I think, uh, you know, and yours is going to be, um, you know, yours is going to look different than mine and that's great. Um, I think we need a little more orange in the, um, in the water. I think we need to brighten that up. But other than that, I'd say we were in good shape. Uh, Aurora Borealis in um, in the Northern Lights and the, the little old cabins on the Northern Lights. I think that's kind of cool. All right, so let's let's we see. I need to do a. <laughs> we're gonna do a giveaway real quick. I think we said we would do a giveaway. What so size I is need that? a what canvas. What size is a horsey? Do you remember what size that is? Oh. Do you want me to hand you a canvas? Yeah, too? 24 by 30, something like that. 24 by 30 on the horse. Do you need yeah. me to hand you a canvas? Yeah. Yeah, hand me a canvas, darling. So easy for me to do. What color would you like? Uh, the really dark one. With the purple, something really dark. Really dark. She's mm -hmm. in dark mode today. I am. I'm just almost tempted to put a little... A little bit of a... Which one? This one? This one. this one. Well, let's take this one. Ooh. All right, we're, you guys, we're going to do this one. All right, so I'm done with this. Everybody feels good about this? We feel great about it. You guys feel, feel great? Everybody's good about that? Um, I think I'm pretty good about it. Every once in a while you might see something I want to do here like that. Well, yeah, I'm sure you come back to it several times. But, all right, we're just, we're good though, right? We uh, are good. How we did our Aurora Borealis, which I really like. I think it's really pretty. And we got our dark sky and our stars. <clears throat> mm -hmm. all right. One of my girlfriend's daughters, when she was like two years old, her grandmother was saying, or her granddaughters, her grandmother was saying to her that she had loved her since the day she was born. And she looked at her and she says, oh, grandma, I've loved you since before there were stars. Ooh. Isn't that just touching? Don't you love that? Yeah. All right, so there we are. This was okay. it. We're going to do a, you know, how this works for our giveaways, okay, is that. Uh, this is open to everybody on the planet Earth. On, that's watching live. That's watching live on planet Earth right now. Well, because we can mail these. We'll mail these anywhere, okay? Not Mars, but pretty much there, right? And no Venus either. No. Okay. All right. So what's going to happen is. I I'm going to do a painting in 10 minutes. You're going to do a painting in 10 somebody. minutes. We're going to get a timer going here by uh, Miss Alexa. And then we will, you're going to be going to the website. And I moved the menu so we can just go with the website. All right, so we're going to start the timer. Alexa, give me a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Starting now. Starting now. Oh. Uh -oh. Starting now. Oh, I gosh. got both of them running now. All right, so we're got t we got two Alexa timers starting now. <laughs> okay, now you need to go to gingercooklive.com. Gingercooklive.com. And on the menu, you will see YouTube contest. Third item over. 
YouTube Instant Contest on the menu. So we're going to try to do it that way. I would try to put in an official link, but it doesn't always work. So gingercooklive.com will get you there. And then the menu right on the top. I'm going to try to get the whole kit and caboodle for you. Do you have a question? The secret word of the day would be Northern Lights. Make sure you put in Northern Lights because that's how we search for them. Oh, we have an internal error with the server already. You guys are beating where, where it up. Where does that come from, John? I don't understand where we get these error businesses. Because everybody's hitting it at one time. Oh. Just have to refresh. Just keep going, keep going at it and it'll come <coughs> up. Just keep refreshing it if you get that error. Looks like we're on a Northern Lights theme. We're on a Northern Lights theme, John. We're just definitely on a Northern Lights theme. Oh, I think that's great. We definitely are. We just need more white paint. So we got a, ourselves a, well, I got a, a new uh, fire tablet, their 10 inch tablet. It's under oh, $200. Yeah, this is so cool, you guys. Wait till you hear this. <laughs> it's under $200, and I have been able to play our lessons on it and the downloadable lessons on it. And it is really spiffy cool. Well, what's neat about it is that, it, you know, to be able to, it's portable, download lessons on it, you can, um, you know, do And it anything. has replaceable memory, so you <coughs> get, get the extra memory chips, and you just add the memories to it and load up a bunch of memories, and you, you're, you're set to go. You don't, you don't need the Internet to watch it. And the 10-inch screen is big enough to see what's going on. Sammy will probably do a review on that a little later once he gets done with the website. All right, that's the link. Secret word is Northern Lights. I could have you do the Aurora Balayasas, whatever, but Nobody I can't can say it. it. We can't spell it. Northern Lights works for us. Anybody in the world can do this. That's on live. That's one of the funs it's of watching live. us live. You hey, we live. appreciate very much you watching us live. And hanging in there. And hanging in if there. If the website st still doesn't come up, go to gingercooklive.com. How and many people have hung in here with us, John? We are still sitting at a mere 312. Well, we thank you very much, you guys. Um, Is my condition why am I getting a lot of buffering on website license? I would say it is your connection. Page not found. Keep doing a refresh. Still doesn't work. Not working. Happy New Year from Australia. Well, let's see if anybody's getting in. Because I can sort of look at my email. Well, we've got a few. We've gotten about 30 so far. So we've still got six for somebody, minutes. Right? Jenny, your, your connection, you need to go to a website called speedtest.net or contact us. Use the contact us. <coughs> <to get laughs> Very you're looking for no longer exists. How can it no longer exist? It's right there. I'm sitting here looking at it. It's a mystery. You know, I tell you what, we, we all are so, um, we take it for granted on the Internet. You know what I mean? We, you, you know, we expect it all to work and, and, and stuff. And you think about what has to work, right? And it's extraordinary, isn't it? Well, it really is. You, you have so many different connections. And um, I was coming up with a 505, 500. If I do a refresh on that, you do a refresh on that, it will come up. You just got to keep refreshing it. If you come up with an error, don't just keep refreshing it. On the menu at the very top, it'll say YouTube Instant Contest. Right in the black bar. Just keep refreshing if you're getting a server error. 
the server this is on is not designed to be hit all at once like this. This is on a low-end, cheapy server for us, which I thought would be able to do this, but... Well, why are we using that server? I mean, I'm not... Well, because our website can't take it either. Okay, it's too much when everybody just jams it? Yeah. You have people currently, you know, we have a lot of people watching our lessons. You know, not everybody's watching us here. They're watching a bunch of lessons, and all of a sudden we have 500 people go hit our website. He doesn't like that either. Let's see, where's my tiny little brush? Well, I've got probably close to 100 entries, so it's working, okay. guys. Well, we appreciate you guys very much. This is you something know, that's sort we're, of fun we're to do. We're sorry it doesn't work all the time. <coughs> we'll, we, we'll work we, on that. But. Um, just you want a little more family scandal? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so um, my ex is in town. Cinnamon's dad is in town. And, uh, you know, we saw Cinnamon and John over, you know, Christmas. And uh, just Colby just told her the other day, he decided, he says, I'm driving out to see you. He hasn't seen him in about, I don't know, seven. I don't think he's ever met Luna. <coughs> you know, anyway. So he, he's, um, he drove out. And he is, um, so it's John's birthday today. Happy birthday, Big so John. So we want to say happy birthday to John. I mean, <clears throat> they didn't tell me, you know, um, normally I would have gone to their birthday party, right? But um, not, not, not so much, right? Not this, not this year. So anyway, um, normally, you know, we just have Sundays. I know Cinnamon's on too, so we just... We're not trying to, you know, cause problems for anybody. We just, uh, you know, we, you guys know we had planned this. Um, we started talking about this at the beginning you know, of December. Thought, yeah, at the beginning of December that we would be doing this, right? I'm liking that. It's looking pretty nice. Yeah, it's a, you know, for you know, for those of us who are not seeing the Aurora Borealis, right? What we can do for, for a website for these things. Are you doing that instead of using your toothbrush? Uh huh. I personally like the toothbrush myself. Well, we could do a bit of both. You know, you get some bigger dots here, right, like that, right? And then <clears throat> here's how you would do the toothbrush, right? But then again, would the toothbrush be coming through all the. Well, it's all right. So you're more controlled with that. Well, you are, but it's okay. Well, let's just do both because, you know, we can. and We're artists, and we can, right? <laughs> we can do whatever we want. Oh, that's, that's okay. E easy, 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 easy. Steady. What is it? Okay, that's great. You got <sighs> one minute and 30 seconds. Not bad, right? Not bad. For, you know, our 10-minute uh, painting. Right? For our yep. colors. No yeah. more no more entries will be taken? There's not a limit. There's no limit. I've never heard that one. Let me go see a mirror over there. I don't know what we're gonna do for these contests. We're gonna have to Well the only way we can test it is to beat up the system like we're doing it, so Well if anybody has a good suggestion of, of how we might do these better, please write us. We We're can also open for we can tell you all to send us a postcard. Yeah, we'll tell you what if you if you solve <laughs> our our if you if you give us a solution, we'll send you something really neat. If you have a solution for us that works, you. we reward uh, ingenuity. Yes, we do. Yeah, we do. Okay. I got my gloves on Amazon. Where else do we go? We only shop on Amazon. Oh, oh, yeah. Weren't those cute? They're adorable. Uh, you know, and again? they're wool. Over there. Right? They're not wool. Aren't they? No, I don't think so. Oh, I thought they They're were. They're nice, though. They're nice? Keep my hands nice and toasty. All right, you guys. That's my picture. You like it? I do. I don't think we're going to give that one away. I'm going to go for that one. There I like go. that one. A little bit of tree. The Aurora Borealis. Sweet range, yes. Now. Alexa off. I should say Alexa's off. Okay, sign. And who it. won it? Who got to who got to win this? We haven't gotten that far yet. Oh. Now I've got to get only one of the Alexas to give me a number, though. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's all I need is both of them give me a number. 
That won't work. Good, then I'm playing. Mm. All right, we're going to find out. See what happens. I'm putting some icicles on. Ooh, neat, huh? Down. So if she answers, we'll just ignore her. What? The new one. Okay. All right. Files in. Opening a file. This is exciting. Oh, we got icicles on it. I'm liking that even better now. Yeah, now I you. really don't want to give it away. <laughs> here it is. All right. So you can see what would happen. I mean, I mean, here was our painting for tonight, right? For today. And, and, and today. And if you saw, and Happy New Year, see, I'm not, not painting my nice shirt here. You see, we've got this, imagine this bigger. This gives you kind of an idea, proportion-wise, what happens when you kind of blow some of this up, right? Make it a little bigger. Imagine if you, for instance, went back to this YouTube lesson and did that with the Aurora Borealis. Wouldn't that be prettier? Mm. Yes, we pretty. should redo that one. <laughs> It's kind of boring. That would be nice, right? We're boring with all the other colors you've been playing with today. Yeah. All right. We have got the entries are in. We've got over 200 entries. Thank you, everybody. So apparently it worked for 200 of you. 200 of us, right? Okay. So now we're going to have Miss Amazon pick us a number between certain numbers. You guys got a submission number, a form number. And she will pick <laughs> a random number and we'll let you know who's going to be the winner. All right. Here we go. I gotta get the first number. Oh boy, I'm excited. You guys excited? It's gonna be fun. What's the first number? Well, he's okay. looking. Let me see what this does. I've got a palette knife. The palette what are you knife. Doing? I just want to know if it would even scrape up. The but don't scratch it. Well, it doesn't do jack. <laughs> just. Well, it's not jack. That's not jack. That's not the palette's name. Did you call him Jack? It Look at that, though. Look how pretty that is. Well, that is that, pretty. I think that just could be going up on the auction like it is. I, I'll tell you what, and we'll put a couple brushes and glue them on here and call it a day, right? <laughs> right? Because, I mean, I, I don't think I'd use it again, but it is pretty, right? That was nice of... I hope we didn't, I hope we didn't buy that. All right, here we go. <laughs> don't you buy one. No. So far, we're not impressed. Okay, Alexa, pick a number between 1,015 and 1,030. Nope, well, never mind. No. Never, never. Cancel, cancel. That one. No, 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 we can't do that number. Can I give you enough range? Okay, I'm going to work on this painting while he's, while he's doing that. I'm going <laughs> well, to this about, one. Well, we've never had this many before. It's exciting. All right. All right, Alexa, give me a number between 1,015 and 1,230. Alexa, are you there? Yes, I'm here. I listen once I hear the wake word. Alexa, give me a number between 1,015 to 1,000. No. You know, Alexa, you're going to get a timeout. Try again. Alexa. Give me a number between 1,015 and 1,230. Your random number between 1,015 and 1,230 is 1,142. 1,142. Okay, I didn't fix that. Didn't like it. 1,142. Got it. 1,142 is Don Gale. Oh, Don, Don Gale. Gale. Where does Don live? Don, where do you live? Don, are you out there? Don Gale. Don, congratulations on winning the Don Gale ten minute painting. Don Gale. Oh, that's her first name. Dawn, are you out there? Just kind of curious where you live. Um, Dawn, if you are out there, please contact us with the contact us form on one of the websites. 
we'll get it to us. Ginger did a fantastic job on that uh, ten minute painting. Okay, so we didn't we didn't hear back from her, right? Don't we need to hear hear back from her? Well, no, we have her email address. We are you sure? She, well, yeah, because she filled out the form correctly. Oh gosh, Don, good I for know. you. I know, isn't that weird? Yeah, all right. So there we go, you guys. Well, Happy New Year. We want to invite everybody to, re, um, you know, see us on Sundays at 2.30. This will be our new time. And also on Monday nights at 7.30. Those are our two times that we're going to be doing live tomorrow night. We'll are we going to be live tomorrow night, New Year's? No, we're not going to be live tomorrow night on New Year's because we don't think anybody will show up. So. Do you think anybody will show up? I mean, what do you guys think? I mean, we weren't planning on it. We got to give it a little second here to catch because up. Guys, we, we need your feedback here because if you you know we weren't really planning it, we could just you know pop in and just say hi and maybe do something and maybe do some quick tip. Maybe what we'll do next tomorrow night, John, is let's just pop in and do some ten minute giveaways. All day long and bring all, the all server day long, down to we'll his knees. We'll just do giveaways tomorrow night. Okay, you, you know how well the server works today, right? Yeah. What do you think it's going to do tomorrow if we do that all day long? Well, I mean, it's not all day. We're just going to do it for oh. like on seven thirty. We'll go. We'll do our regular Monday night time. And we'll um, we'll just do giveaways tomorrow night, ten minute giveaways for New Year's. Start the New Year off right, right? Will anybody show up tomorrow, seven thirty p.m. Central? If we, all we do is a bunch of ten minute giveaways, that that's that's called bribery. <laughs> I just uh, well, we're just saying, okay. right? Do, do you have uh, like a six 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 paintings, right? Ten minutes. That's enough. Yes, yeah. six. Yeah, six paintings. We'll six give away paintings. six little paintings tomorrow night. Six little paintings. What do you think? Yes, 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 yes. It'd be fun, 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 fun. Yes. Nine hours to go. Yes. Don't drink. Yes, yes, yes. Tomorrow night. Yeah. All right. All right. Then we'll see you guys tomorrow night. Because we didn't have anything else to do. Uh, no, you know, <laughs> we're certainly not going out. So this will be fun. We'll have a good time. And um, remember, if you're going to become a member of our Art Academy, do it today. Oh, yeah. Prices are going up at midnight, midnight. our time, and Central get time. grandfathered in now to the lowest prices that they'll ever, they'll ever be. Yeah, it's not going to go back down. They're, they're, they're only going to We're go hoping this will be the last one, but if our costs keep going up, we don't have a choice. So, all right, guys. We have enjoyed. Did we enjoy today? We had fun. We did have fun. And we discovered about, you know, this, I think we will just eventually, you know, glue something on there, auction it off. I, I, I have to look at that before we, before we do something with that. Okay. Because we, it, it may come off. We don't know. Well, but I could really make it nice and just make a painting now. I'm kind of liking it like this. Okay. Good night, you guys. <laughs> night, John. Uh, good well, night, it's not Ginger. even night. It's afternoon. What? Let's go have dinner. Well, it's <laughs> night somewhere. It's in mornings <clears throat> others. I mean, you know, it depends on where you are in the world. Okay. All right. So Bye. good good day, mates. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Okay, we're going to mute to say oh, let's, let's say goodbye to Sammy and Chester. Bye, Sammy. Bye, Chester. Where where they go? Where are I give up. Where they go? Where's Sammy's new outfit? We need to show. He's on. It. He was on. Oh. He was on. He was on with Chester. Okay. Let me get off. Okay, now we're off. So now we're going to do our exit, and we're we're gone. Bye, everybody. Bye. I'm a student, I say with glee, of Ginger Cook's Academy. Take your time and do not rush. Use ruby satin silver brush. Don't use black and mix the green. Learn what blend and grayscale mean. Yes, I hope each day to earn coaching praises as I learn. I'll be an artist, wait and see. Ginger means the world to me.